Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. I hope everybody's day is off to a great start. I'm thankful to be in the land of the living this morning. I'm thankful to be amongst the living this morning. I'm thankful that God woke me up this morning and gave me another chance. I got a quick word for y'all today. Today, I want to talk about the Antichrist, about the Antichrist, right? When we hear the term Antichrist, right, we are typically looking in our mind, we are visualizing and looking for something that was described in the book of Revelation. We're looking for something that we ain't never seen before. We're looking for something that is going to bring complete terror upon sight. That's what we're looking for. This is what we envision in our mind when we hear the term Antichrist. But I want to talk about that real quick today, about how the Antichrist has already come, and that is scripture, and how do we identify the Antichrist that is already here. Turn with me in your Bibles to 1 John, and I'm going to start reading um, in the second chapter, and I'm going to start at the 18th verse. Dear children, this is the last hour, and as you have heard that the Antichrist is coming, even now many Antichrists have come. This is how we know it is the last hour. They went out from us, but they did not really belong to us. For if they had belonged to us, they would have remained with us, but their going showed that none of them belonged to us. But you have an anointing from the Holy One, and all of you know the truth. I do not write to you because you do not... Uh, know the truth, but because you do know it and because no lie comes from the truth. Who is the liar? It is whoever denies that Jesus is the Christ. Such a person is the Antichrist, denying the Father and the Son. No one who denies the Son has the Father. Whoever acknowledges the Son has the Father also. So as we talk about the Antichrist and as we envision in our minds something that has not come yet or an entity or a creature, a creature of some sort that has not yet come, that is a false belief and that is a false idea that we have in our head that the Antichrist is not here. In actuality, the Antichrist is here right amongst us. And how do we identify those people? Let me tell you how. You will identify them because you will hear them saying, God, 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 God. And we talked about that yesterday about how people will take uh, the God and they take this one Bible verse, I believe it's in Psalms or it might be in Proverbs, one of the two, where the scripture was actually talking about people in authority being little gods and still having to be judged as well. People would take this one scripture and basically exalt themselves to be little gods, just normal people with no authority calling themselves little gods, right? How do you identify the Antichrist among you? You will identify because you will hear these people just saying, God, 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 and you will never hear them say anything about Jesus. I watched a video the other day and the lady was saying that she was offered a contract. And one of the fine print details in the contract was that she could not on her podcast mention Jesus Christ, Jesus, Jesus Christ, or the Holy Spirit. This is how you will know the Antichrist among you. You will identify them by their strange fruit. If they have any fruit, they will come with this strange doctrine and you will find that they will often use the word God, but they will not acknowledge Jesus. Do not be deceived by these people. Let me give you another scripture, Matthew 24, 24. Let me find it real quick and read it to you. And it reads, in the, in the NIV version now, for false messiahs and false prophets will appear and perform great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. The ultimate goal of this is to lead even the very elect astray if you are not uh, if you are not aware of what is going on. Be very, very mindful of these people that come across that you come across. And they will say, God, you don't know which God they're talking about. Most of them won't even use the word Jesus. Most of them won't even use the name Jesus. Most of them won't even use the name Jesus Christ. You'll find they don't say Holy Spirit. These are signs that you are among the Antichrist. The Antichrist is here among us. And we have to be very mindful of who we listen to. Uh, we have to be very mindful of when people feed us these things. When people, when we go to get words from people, we have to be very mindful. Do you hear these people saying anything about Jesus? When you hear these people talking about God. I've seen psychics. I know a girl I went to school with. She does psychic readings and guess what? She'll throw God in there every chance she get. God is not of that. So you have to be very mindful that you just don't fall prey because you hear the word God. First of all, you got to dig deep and find out, do you believe in Jesus? Now, which God are you talking about? Because there's this strange doctrine going on where these people are calling themselves little God. Yes, God made us in his image. Yes, he made us in his likeness. But listen, put some respect on the name of God so that when people hear that name, they know who you are referring to. 
listen, when you hear people say, God, dig deep and find out what do they believe and what are their beliefs. And you will find that when you dig deep, many of these people who you are around actually have the Antichrist spirit in them that they don't even acknowledge Jesus. Be not deceived. Uh, there is no way of going to God. You do not have a relationship with God if you are not acknowledging Jesus. Jesus said that he is the way. And guess what? He is the only way. There is no relationship with God if you do not believe in Jesus. There is no relationship with God if you do not acknowledge Jesus Christ. There is no way to God unless you go through the Son. If you do not accept and acknowledge him, you're fooling yourself to think that you have a relationship with God. And this is not my judgment on you. This is just scripture. If you don't believe what I'm saying, I encourage you to open your Bible and read this stuff. This is why we fall for things. I've fallen for things before. This is why we fall for things because we won't get in the word and learn for ourselves and get to know God for ourselves and get to know what his expectations of us as his children are. When we open this book and read it, we will see what his expectations are. Be very mindful and be aware that the Antichrist spirit is here. It is already among you. Be mindful as you're listening to people, as you are talking to people, as you are yoking with people. Don't just fall for the fact that they use the word God. You got to dig deep and get an understanding of what these people believe. When you go to places, even places at this point, when you go to some places that appear to be places of worship, no judgment, but you need to make it clear. Are these people talking about Jesus as these people are talking about God? Does the leader believe in Jesus? You have to start asking these questions so that you can make sure that where you are being fed and where you are laying your head and who you are being yoked to, make sure that you are not yoking yourself to the Antichrist spirit because there is destruction in that spirit and with that spirit. And the ultimate goal of that spirit is to lead you astray. Get in your word and learn and get the knowledge for yourself. I love you. I am Grace Amber. I'll be right back on tomorrow with another word.